A dryer making all sorts of squeaking noise is definitely not normal wear and tear. When this happens, it usually means that a part has worn out and needs repaired or replaced, but it could also be a simple fix like one of the ones I'll have on this list today. But first, you'll need to find out where the squeaking noise is coming from. Does it come from the top, the back, the front, or the bottom? This will help determine where the problem is coming from and can offer a clue about how small or big the repair could be or if you should do it yourself or just contact a professional. One thing you should have is your owner's manual. You can find those online now, at least with the owner's manual, it could give you the location of specific screws or bearings you'd need to repair, lube or change. Some people ask, can you use WD-40 on a dryer? Because some places online have mentioned that you should use WD-40 to lubricate some things inside your dryer. But really, do not use WD-40 to grease any part of your dryer. Spraying WD-40 inside your dryer can pose a fire risk since it's combustible and the dryer runs at very high heat. Make sure to use a lubricant that can withstand high temperatures. So the first thing that you want to look at is the exterior of your dryer and you'll want to grab a level for this to see if your dryer is installed properly on a flat surface. Place a level on top of the dryer from front to back and side to side. If the dryer is not leveled, you'll need to adjust the dryer legs until the level reads that they are even. Your dryer may be even, but the legs might be the culprit causing the noise if they are loose. To check these, you'll have to pull the dryer away from the wall, tilt it back, and secure it with a support object. If you find any loose legs, tighten them up and make sure they're secured. And also, if it is still squeaking and you know it's coming from either the legs or the dryer just not being perfectly even, you can go ahead and just buy a rubber mat to put underneath the dryer and that should take care of the rest of your problems, hopefully. Hopefully that makes the squeaking noise go away, but if it didn't, you can try seeing if there is any type of foreign objects inside the dryer drum or the lint filter. Coins, paper clips, and similar items can easily be found in the drum and removed. To inspect the lint filter, make sure to unplug the dryer before doing so, then look down in the opening. If you see anything stuck in there, just go ahead and retrieve it. You can also open the bottom of the dryer by removing these screws and removing the bottom cover. It's a good idea to thoroughly clean the lint that will have collected under here because this will eventually get down here and pose a fire risk with the heating element being so close. So make sure to keep it clean and remove any foreign object that could be the cause of the noise. Another thing that could be causing the dryer noise is that the dryer belt might be worn out and needs replacing. Since dryers run on pretty high temperatures, it's common for a dryer belt to become worn and cracked over time. If the racket is coming from the top of the dryer, a worn down dryer belt may may be the issue. To inspect the dryer belt to determine if it's getting worn out or if it's just loose, you'll need to open the dryer cabinet. If the belt is tight and it looks good, then you should rub a small amount of bar soap or spray belt lubricant on it. Doing this will prolong the life of the belt, so since the cabinet is open, you might as well get this done if the belt is pretty good. If, however, the belt is showing signs of wear, you'll be better off going online and ordering a replacement belt. They're not hard to install, so you can save a lot of money by just doing this yourself. The next thing you can look at is the idler pulley might have lost traction and needs replacement. If the squeaking sound is coming from the bottom of the dryer, this might be the idler pulley giving you the headaches. This part is an automatic tensioning device on the dryer belt. How to check if the idler pulley is defective is by taking a look if the pulley wheel is broken or loose. The dryer squeaking could be the result of that. In this case, some dryers will require a full pulley replacement, while others will need only the wheel replaced. So check your owner's manual and you should find out which type of repair you would need for your dryer. Another possible problem for a squeaky dryer is a faulty drum glide bearing. If this is the case, this would make a squeaking or rubbing sound on the front of the dryer. 
This is the part that makes a drum glide smoothly when rotating against the front seal. Check to see if the glide bearings have been worn down. Even the smallest sign of wear and tear might be enough to replace the part. The front seal should also be replaced at this time because there might be damage caused by the faulty drum glide bearings. Another reason is that the dryer bearings and motor would need replacing. You might think that a faulty motor would cause a burning smell. Well, you'd be wrong. A faulty dryer motor would begin to make a grinding or squeaking sound. If the noise is coming from the back, it might mean that the motor is going bad or you might have some worn bearings that might need replaced. Now we'll look at the back of the dryer. If the noise is coming from the back, then it might mean that the motor is going bad or you might have some worn bearings that might need replaced. If the bearings are the problems, then you should change them ASAP because grinding bearings can end up breaking the motor. As always, make sure the dryer is unplugged, open the back of the dryer and check if the bearing needs to be replaced or just lubricated. Replacing the motor may involve removing wirings, clamps or the pulley. So if that seems a little bit too intimidating for you, it might be worth calling a professional who can get this job done correctly. For the algorithm, leave me a comment and a like and let me know if you use any of these methods to fix your squeaky dryer. Until next time.